Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorts Watercolor. This video is one in a series of videos I'm doing of Christmas cards for 2020. I hope you enjoy this, and if you do enjoy my channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand corner if you haven't already. And if you do like this video, be sure to like it and share it with others. This is my 2020 Christmas card number 9. You can find the link for the template for this in the description of the video. Hi, this is Rick. I am in my studio and this is my Christmas card number 9 in my 2020 series of Christmas cards. I've done these extra ones because there is a lot of requests to do a few more. Um, so I am going to go ahead and this theme is the snowman and I'm going to start with some royal blue in my sky. I have a little bit of sap green I think in the well there. Let me try and get a, a little bit more of a blue tone. Alright, so I'm going to work around this snowman shape. I'm actually going to lighten my pencil lines a little bit more because I'm going to be relying uh, a little bit on positive and negative uh, shapes here with this. So, all right, let's go ahead and take our our blue wash. And around the outside, the exterior edge of the snowman this royal blue. Then I'm going to take some water I'm going to clean your edge around that. Take some water and come up around there. Now I'm going to take this royal blue down to this horizon line. I'm going to take clear water and let this get lighter as it comes up. I like to have got a little darker going off the edge here. See if I can do this without creating a blossom. I think we're all right. This paper handles uh, pretty good, but it, it is different than. Uh, working with uh, the paper I normally work with. So I'm going to use some water and just let that get lighter as it moves away. And I did end up getting a little bit of a backwash there. I was afraid of that. So let's see if we can't correct that. Before I go any further and get any more problems, I'm going to dry this. Alright, that's dry. This isn't the thing I type of thing I normally paint, but I figure for the holidays, why not? So I'm going to uh, take some of the same color here to indicate some of the, the slopes, the, the slope, the contour of the land. I'm going to take some clear water, leave a lighter edge on top. Let go a little, a little darker right here. A little bit here to pick it up over here. Now we're going to carry this value over here on this side. I'll take some clear water. And then I think uh, I'll give just a little bit of indication of that shadowing in here. And then go to water pretty quick. So just a little bit. 
Now let's dry this once again. All right, that's dry. And I forgot to mention, I did before I started this painting, I put in a couple uh, little areas of masking fluid uh, where I want to have uh, some Christmas bulbs. So I did that in advance of starting this video, and I forgot to mention that. And uh, now I'm going to put a little bit of sh a shadow on this the, the snowman himself, so it, it feels like it has some volume to it. It's more of a a ball and not as flat feeling. Soften this out a little bit. And uh, before I go further, I want to dry that again. All right, so now I have this hat up here. I just want it to be kind of a charcoal gray. So I'm going to take some quinacridone and burn orange. Some ultramarine blue, maybe a little more blue to that, and it's pretty close. So that should give me a charcoal color here. And through this hat so that we'll go up touch the frame of reference up there and I'm going to put a, a red band I want to make that maybe a little narrower so it's not the same width as the hat and give me a little bit more of the hat so let's go ahead and dry that now actually I might blot that a little just to break up that shape Frosty wouldn't be, or snowman wouldn't be the snowman, or Frosty without a little orange on his nose. I'm taking some Halloween orange. Just, I don't want it to be super strong. Just the indication that it's there. But I'm going to paint, uh, I think, a red, red ribbon here around the hat. And that will connect with the, the ornaments I'm going to put on here. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead right now and mix some, some green. So I'm going to take some sap green, a little pyro red, yeah, more than what I wanted there, put some more green back into that. And I'm going to add a little royal blue over here, some red, that red helps gray it down. Now I'm going to kind of paint my my Christmas tree shapes here. Not necessarily really Christmas trees, but just some pines you'd find out, or some evergreens, firs that you find out here in the wood, in the mountains. clean edge here because that's hitting the contour of the land. Just going to blot those. Now let's get these here. Get a little bit more 
little blue into the mixture. of a tree here. Carry that so it touches the edge. That'll help reinforce that edge. that and I had a little, little indication of a tree here just that kind of intersect this snowball all right let me dry this I'm going to take off the area that I masked so that I could put these Christmas bulbs on there. I'm also going to see what I can't do to erase some of these pencil marks. So I'm not using the pencil marks so much to define these shapes. Take some quinacrin and burn orange. Give a little indication of uh, some tree trunks. Christmas ball shapes, a little too much water in my brush there. Christmas. Very good for the shapes. And I think what I'm going to do is clear a spot on my palette. I'm going to go just a little bit, a little bit darker on the snowman, perhaps. going to go a little darker a little bit up here shape. I want to put some blue in the sky.
Now let me dry I'm this. Do. I'm gonna try something here. I haven't done it on this. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna take a spray bottle here. I'm just gonna spritz some water on it. Just to create a little texture. Give the suggestion of some snow. Kind of break some of this. These shapes up a little. Make it look a little more interesting. You feel like winter. So it just puts a little snowy texture into it, not much. If I want I thought about with this one doing some splattering of masking glue before I started to give it the snow, but I decided not to. So uh, let me dry this and we'll take the all right, let's take the tape off. Let's see what we have. And I want to erase the hat that I drew on there. And there we have it. Just a little a card with just a snowman composition, kind of a simple imaginary comp uh, composition of a little landscape with a snowman looking out into the to the trees, the woods. So that is my Christmas card number nine. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.